Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 44 in our legendary, our epic new series of improved Arduino tutorials. And hopefully you're playing along at home. And what we are doing today is we are going over the homework assignment which we gave in lesson number 43. Just to catch you up on where we were, remember in lesson number 43 we made this a most excellent binary counter where you could count from 0 to 255 using the uh, using the 74HC595 serial to parallel converters. So we're kind of learning how to do a shift register, a serial to parallel conversion, getting into some little logic chips outside the world of only using the Arduino. And so uh, what your assignment was in lesson number 43 was to create now not a binary counter, but to create kind of a shifter, a bit shifter. And we ask you to do a logical bit shift where you write into these LEDs a number, it, you know, like a binary number, and then to take that binary number and to shift it like off the screen to the right, and then take the number and shift it off the screen to the left. So you take those bits, and each bit just goes one shift, uh, one spot to the right with each loop of the program or goes the other way. So that would be a logical shift right or a logical shift left. When you're doing a logical shift left, you fill in that least significant bit with a zero, the one that you don't have anything to move into. If you shift to the right, that most significant bit, you shift in a zero. So you just shift your numbers off to the left or off to the right, depending if you're doing a logical shift left or a logical shift right. So hopefully you got that working. Uh, what we will do here, we will develop that code in today's lesson and we will come over to our code view. This was where we ended up with the binary counter. All right, well a lot of this stuff is going to kind of be the same. Uh, let's put in a more interesting number though. Let's put in 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And then what we're going to do is we are going to start by shifting to the right. And I certainly hope that your right is the same as my right, but we're going to shift these things to the right. So let's think about this. So we come in and the first thing that we do is we do our setups with our pin modes. And then this is the basic code that will take a number and write it into the uh, uh, write it into this uh, uh, the shift register. And rather than LEDs, I want to give a better a better name. I'm just going to call it my byte. So my byte is what we're working on. And remember that we can actually put it in in a binary fact fashion by putting 0b, that's saying I want to put the number in, uh, in binary, and then let's see, yeah, that's my byte, and uh, then 0101. We could also put in a 0x, and then we could put the number in in hexadecimal, and in that case it would just be two characters. If you don't understand, go back and look at our last few lessons. Really need to understand hexadecimal and binary if you don't already. Okay, so we've got that set up. Then we come in and we send that and we've got to now use instead of LEDs, LE1, LED1s, we need to do my byte. If you want to get caught up, go to toptechboy.com and look at lesson number 43 where we kind of put all this stuff, uh, all this stuff together. But you can start by getting the code off of www.toptechboy.com and then go to Arduino Tutorial 43 and you can get our starting code. All right. Now we're not going to do an LEDs equal LEDs plus one. We just have the basic code to write that uh, binary number into these LEDs. Hopefully that makes sense. If you watch the earlier lessons, it should make perfect sense what I'm talking about. Okay, let's start with the assignment of shifting things to the, let's say, I'm going to shift things to the right. Okay, shifting things to the right. How could I shift bits to the right? Think about it. It's really just taking the number and dividing by two. Okay, 
dividing by two and it's going to round it off so you're going to lose that least significant bit and it's going to be like shifting it over. And if you think about this, if you divide by two, it is really simply taking all of your bits and shifting them in the direction of the right. So let's just try that and see if that works. So I am going to say after doing all of this and after delaying, I'm going to say my byte equal my byte divided by two. So let's see if it really could be that simple. So I'm going to download it and I'm going to put a, yeah, one second delay is pretty good. I'm going to put a, a 010101 in there and see what happens. Okay, so we download it and why did it not like that? Oh yeah, we got to, we got to change this to the new variable, my byte. All right, let's try it again. Okay, download it. It's so oh, got to put my semicolon. I'm making lots of mistakes. All right, download it. Okay, looks good. And boom, 0101. And look at that. It's shifting those things off to the right until they're all gone. Yes, we did a logical shift right by simply dividing my byte by two, and that is equivalent. This time, look at the bytes as they go by, and, and you know, look at the, the binary number on the serial monitor as they go by. I will simply hit the reset button, and it should start this thing again. Okay, if you look at that, if you're doing the binary math, it is dividing by two each time. One, zero. Okay, dividing by two is shifting to the right. All right, how would you do a logical shift left? Hmm. hmm. Based on what you learned here, could it possibly be timesing by two? Let's see. Okay. There we go. We're downloading. It's loaded in. Shift to the left. Shift to the left. Shift to the left. Shift to the left. Every bit is shifting to the left until all the bits are gone. Boom. That worked great. Okay. Did you guys figure it out? Or did you do some incredibly complicated trying to do something crazy, insane, when really you don't do it by doing a lot of hand individual coding. You just do it by recognizing that multiplying by two is equivalent to shifting to the left. Dividing by two is equivalent to shifting all the bits to the right. All right, that was a lot of fun. Let's try a different one. What if we go... One, 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 one. And now we are shifting to the left. And so let's put that in there. Okay. They load up and now left. They're shifting to the left. You're just shifting this thing on off the screen. All right. Now let's just do one more. Let's do that going the other way, just making sure all this works. So we will send it down again. This time we will be going to the right. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, you know what? I can't help myself. I just can't help myself once I start doing this. Let's say that we start with a zero here. And then, mm, no, what I want to start with is a one, zero, zero, zero. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that. And then we should just see that bit just skip across the skip across the display. Kind of interesting things. I think binary is really fascinating. So we write there it is. Now it's there it is, just moving across the array. Uh-huh. Leave me a comment down below. Were you able to figure this out? I am going to give you your homework for next week. Okay. This was lesson 44. In lesson 45, what we are going to go over, but you need to do it before that lesson comes out, I want you to do what is called a circular shift. I want you to do a circular shift right and a circular shift left. How does a circular shift work? This is how it works, and this is a circular shift left. 
okay? What you do is you take all of the bits, okay, and you move them to the left. Well, the leftmost bit, which is the most significant bit, rather than just kicking it out and losing it, move it all the way to the least significant bit. So as these things come across to the left, the least significant bit goes over and fills in the first spot. So these things are just looping, okay? They're coming across and looping. Does this make sense? Okay, let's look at it, break it down. From the least significant bit to bit six, they all just scoot one bit to the left. But the most significant bit, which is bit seven, it loops around and goes back into the zero position. All right. And it keeps doing that so that you don't lose those bits. They're just going in a, going in a circle. So this one is demonstrated up here. Up here would be a circular shift left. We'll then do that and then do the circular shift right. All right. You guys, leave me a comment down below. Were you able to do this homework? You know, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Think about sharing this series of most excellent tutorial with your friends. You know, social media, all that type of stuff. Let's get some people learning some Arduino here. All right, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later. See you in the upcoming lesson number 45. Don't forget to do your homework, okay?